Hello YouTubers. This is my Phenom resin printer by Peel Poly. And what I'm going to show you is a modification to the build plate. Uh, here we have the build plate going down into the resin. And because the build plate has no holes in it and it's perfectly flat, the resin wants to pool up on top which isn't that big a deal, but when your print is finished and the plate is really high up in the air, uh, when you take the plate off, the resin will basically spill everywhere. So here I am scraping it off, which I do as the print is printing, which isn't that big a deal, but it just gets old after you do so many prints. It's also messy. Uh, sometimes you'll slip, you'll, you know, sling resin everywhere. Uh, I can see a little spot where the, the spatula slipped down there. Uh, so here is my Elegoo Mars build plate. And as you can see, it is a little different. It's sloped. So the resin will run off of this build plate. So that's the idea with this new piece that I'm printing. Uh, it's basically an add-on. Uh, I'm, I'm using a PLA, uh, my uh, Creality CR10 printer. Uh, and it's basically going to make the resin drip off of the plate. Um, so here's the build plate again. And the finished piece basically slips over the top. You have plenty of room. Perfect fit. Uh, you still have access to the uh, adjustment screws if, if you need to. And I'm going to glue it down with some uh, silicone. Just in case I want to remove this piece later, I can. So once I got it all glued together and clamped down, it was drying, and this is what happened. I left it too close to the fireplace, which heated up the build plate and softened the PLA. So the clamps basically bit down into the softened plastic. I was not a happy camper. Uh, so here is build plate 2.0. Uh, it's in white because I ran out of black PLA, but same thing. So here is the the new plate. I have it glued down with the silicone. It's all sealed around the edges. Uh, it's going down into the vat. Uh, when I start a print, I'll fill the vat with just enough resin to cover the FEP. Uh, I don't want to fill it too much because once the plate goes all the way down, it's going to displace that resin and we don't want it squirting up over the edges of the vat. So here it is, all the way down, and as you can see, we have plenty of uh, plenty of room for more resin. Uh, this bottle uh, was almost full, so I'm, I'm basically going to pour the entire bottle in here and, and still have plenty of room. So I wouldn't worry too much about this piece displacing, you know, too much more resin than the plate was already displacing. So here I am, basically just, I'm gonna dump the whole thing in. And now I'm gonna show you the build plate as it uh, goes down into the resin and comes back out. Now you'll be able to see that the, the resin uh, it looks like it's sticking on the sides, but it really isn't. Um, it, it actually runs off. Uh, and here's the plate while it's printing. And it's out of the resin. As, as you can see, there's really not that much resin on top. It, there's not enough there to even cause a drip. So I call this a success. Thanks for watching.